Okay, so storm outside, the engine is on, uh, Yip is uh, keeping watch, but hey, the show must go on as well, so I'm making the last edits, and then the new vlog is going to be online, so, uh, okay, vlog coming up, hopefully the storm won't continue, because I don't feel like spending another night keeping watch and uh, waves and... So guys, we don't even need to catch fish because look what's jumping into the boat. It's still alive. <laughs> it's still alive. No way. More? This one is. Oh, that. How do they get in the boat? So because bigger fish are hunting them, they are tr uh, they're jumping out of the water to lose the predator. And sometimes they get into the boat. <laughs> Lucky bastard. Okay guys, check it out. We need to clean the sails, needs a little bit of repair. This is Renzo. Renzo is gonna clean the sails. He's gonna make sure the sponsors are gonna get on there and check it out. So we're gonna take the sail off right now. And then uh, we're gonna be a week or two without sails. But this is going to be nice, guys. All clear? Awesome. Without guys, the screen, because of the sun, is uh, fractured. Or actually, there's an LCD um, film over it. But because of the sun, it has cracks. So we can't read the radar anymore. So we're going to take it out. Because we found a guy that's been able to replace it, so I'm gonna get it out. Hopefully, he can make it. And we've got Raider for the first time in my life. Raider, guys. Okay, next job. The clutch is slipping, so there's water here in the gear. So we're gonna drain the gear, fill it up again, and hopefully, that is done as well. Okay, let's see what's coming out. Well, there's not too much in there. There wasn't enough in there, so hopefully that will uh, fix the leak. Okay, but we have to put uh, the gear oil in. Uh, it's just a really tiny hole, so what I normally do, I just get a little straw, I get a little bag, I push the straw through the bag, like that. Put a little tape around it, and then you can fill the bag with the gearbox oil and uh, fill it easy. Okay, got some new uh, transmission fluid, getting into the gearbox. Easiest way, no spilling. Oh, there we go. And it's full. Yeah. Treating ourselves on a little bit of dinner here in Colombia, five dollars, you can still get a really decent meal. So don't go to the McDonald's guys, get your food up here. Good burger, check that out. Good pollo. Colombia is awesome. <laughs>
speaking, it's pouring down. This is insane. Okay guys, we don't have a freezer, uh, so what I'm doing now, I'm installing like these little trays onto the freezer plates. So uh, the minute then we uh, stuck stuff in that, that will freeze up. So uh, we've got a little bit of a freezer uh, or an anyway, a space that gets it cooler. So as long as I don't drill holes into the, uh, how do you call it, the tubes here. We're okay, so that's gonna be up there. Check that out, perfect. Okay, so today we are getting ready for the water tank number two. Uh, we're gonna show you how it works. Jeep just started the engines, putting a little bit of revs on it, so we've got a little bit of more power. So we got 220 out of the converter. Then we have our saw. We just draw a square. We're gonna take that whole bit out and see where it's leaking. Uh, we're using the vacuum cleaner, so we're not breathing in all the epoxy. Uh, we're sawing it at a 45 degree angle. So uh, when we lift the lid up and we put it in, then it stays put, you know, so it can't fall through. So uh, let's do this. we saw that the connection hole uh, was loose and uh, leaking and we inspected the, the rest of the hole uh, and there are no big cracks well there are some small cracks but it shouldn't be a problem so we're going to fix this fix the small cracks and hopefully hopefully we have a working water tank awesome okay everything is cleaned check that out that is the true hole and uh, we're gonna use marine grade Adhesive sealant, this even heals underneath the water, so uh, this stuff is amazing. It's gonna be put over there and over here, and then hopefully, no more water leakages. Okay, fully sealed up on one side, fully sealed up on the second side. Well, we've got eight minutes to go work with it. making sure it soaks all through the fiberglass. Okay guys, everything is laminated again. Now it needs to dry, then it's close and hopefully fill it up. And people, we've got a working water tank. Okay guys, it's two o'clock at night. Suddenly starts to blow really, really hard. So yes, I started the engine, anchor alarm is on. Boat life as well, guys. It's not always uh, fun. So, Jesse yes, has the engine on.
Oh, what a mess. Check out, those boats are collided together. Even trees got ripped out of the floor. <laughs>